In this Elden Ring guide video, I'm going to be showing you how to play a pure archer in Elden Ring. This means only using bows and no melee whatsoever. So in this guide, I'm going to show you how that is possible and what has worked well for me. When it comes to class selection, you're going to either choose Bandit or Samurai for this. I chose Bandit because I've played Samurai before, but if you haven't played, Samurai might be a good choice for you. There's a case to be made for either one. The Bandit begins the game with a short bow, and the Samurai begins the game with a long bow. Short bow is more used in this build, but you can get a short bow much more easily early on, and you're going to want to have a long bow and a short bow. Regardless of which you chose, it's not super important. You can play either. Uh, getting the golden seed is definitely helpful. This will give you an extra flask early on. I recommend this for all builds generally. Uh, it's just the best pickup early on. That extra flask can make all the difference. The first thing you need to sort out playing an archer is, of course, arrows. These are consumable in Elden Ring, meaning that you're not infinite and you're going to have to continuously farm them or craft them or buy them. Um, so the way I recommend early on is buying the recipe book from the merchant and the crafting kit for basic arrows, the bone arrows. And then you can just farm little animals here and there to get, you know, 10 arrows very easily. It doesn't take very long. Um, but you will have to spend some time for the first couple hours until you start to accumulate ruins and you can purchase arrows. The ones you can purchase from the vendors early on are actually better. They do more damage per shot. And again, not all arrows are created equal. Arrows can do various different things. And one of the great things about playing an archer in Elden Ring is that you can use the perfect arrows for the situation as long as you can keep stock of them. So once you have, you know, a good supply of arrows, that's the first thing you're going to want to work out. Like, there's no point in making an archer if you're constantly out of arrows and having the melee. Like, you want to get yourself backlogged on arrows so that you can play an archer and not worry about arrows. Craft some, that's a good way to get off to a good start. And then, you know, start going and killing enemies and farming bosses or killing bosses, the easy bosses at the beginning of the game. And you'll start to get a good amount of runes in which you can then just purchase a backlog of arrows. One thing that I want to mention is that Putting attribute points early on into dexterity and strength in order to increase your damage with bows isn't that fruitful. Meaning the scaling on these bows that you have early game are very, very bad. So you're not going to get a lot of damage out of putting points into these stats. This means you'll actually get more damage out of buying arrows from the vendor than the crafted ones than you spending your runes on that than if you would spend it on like dexterity or strength. So... Getting better arrows early on is more important than leveling up strength or dexterity in order to increase your damage. Okay, beyond that, I like to level up Vigor first. Uh, especially if you're playing the Bandit, you have 10 Vigor. I like to get this up to 15 or 20 on any character I'm playing. You are going to get hit. You are going to take damage. You want to live. That's the main thing. You want to survive. You don't have to survive by much, but you want to survive. So in order to be able to take that health potion, so getting your Vigor up is priority number one. Once your Vigor's up, you can start to increase Dexterity. It'll do a little bit more damage, and it'll also, you know, help you meet requirements for future bows that you might use. I do want to mention that this build is a Stamina Hog, because you're constantly rolling and jumping and shooting, all of which consume Stamina. And it would seem like Endurance is a good choice because of the amount of Stamina you consume, but you get very little Stamina for the amount of uh, points you put into it. You get much better equip load than you do stamina out of endurance. So it's not something you should prioritize early on. The next thing I want to mention is that you need to upgrade your bow to at least plus three as fast as possible. You're going to get the best increase in damage by upgrading your bow or bows in this case. So one really good way is if you go up the hill on Storm Hill and where the trolls are up there or whatever, there's like a stone object there that they can smash if you lure them over you'll get six smithing stones out of that that's enough to get you to plus two like that fast so make sure you go get that immediately and then get some more stones you can do that from the tunnel like the mine area that's kind of attached to the lake there's a bunch of material upgrades there get that to plus three asap like before you start doing really anything else after you have arrows go do that ascp and then you can start really tackling the content because you're set up Archers take a little bit more prep work to get going than other builds do, but you want to do that prep work so that you are successful and you feel like you can play an archer. Otherwise, what's going to happen is you're going to fail and you're going to feel like you can't play one. So talking about how to play an archer, actually, like beyond this attributes, how do you play one? So the first thing you need to know is that you're, on your long bow, you're going to have Mighty Shot, and on your short bow, you're going to have Raj. These are the two weapon abilities you have. You're going to use Mighty Shot to pick off enemies on the long bow. The long bow has better range and it has more damage per shot. So you want to use this to snipe. Anytime you can pick off a lone enemy or thin out enemies at range as far away as you can, it's good. You're going to want to use Mighty Shot for that. It uses just a little bit of focus, and you're going to want to spend that focus on picking those enemies off more often than not. That's what you're going to spend most of your focus on. I like to have like one mana flask 
at most, maybe two, depending on how far you are and how many flasks you have. Because you really don't need that much, but you need it to get those mighty shots off. Now, Barrage isn't very good for damage. It just it, it reduces the amount of damage your arrows do, but you can fire really, really quickly. What Barrage is good for is setting status effects. Like, you can set Bleed, or you can set Poison, or whatever status effect you're trying to afflict, because you can hit rapidly, very rapidly with arrows that set status effects. So if you're trying to inflict Poison on an enemy, for instance, because, you know, you, you want to get him his health just bleeding away, maybe it's a difficult enemy and his, his health will just bleed over time, or, you know, burn Poison over time, you want to use Barrage for status effects. Don't use it for damage, it's a waste of arrows. Use it for status effects. You probably won't use this much early on, other than maybe when you get Bleed Arrows. You'll probably use it later on in the game when you have, you know, Poison Arrows and other arrows that can set other stat effects like Frostbite, etc. So keep that in mind. Use Barrage for status effects. Use Mighty Shot for damage. Okay, beyond that, you're gonna use the Short Bow probably 60-70% of the time. You're gonna engage enemies with the Long Bow, and once they come at you, if it's a tough enemy, you're gonna switch immediately to Short Bow. And I'm gonna explain to you why that is. The short bow is exceptional at firing quickly. And what I mean by that is you should never, ever, 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 ever stand there and just shoot your bow unless you're picking off an enemy at range and it's a lone guy and he's never going to get to you. That's probably the only scenario. Or maybe you panic or something. Always when you're playing with the short bow or even the long bow, but primarily the short bow, you want to be moving when you shoot. That is to say, if you want to fire, jump and shoot. It's more accurate, it fires more rapidly. And also, when you're wielding a short bow, when you land from your shot, you can fire again instantly. So, you're going to get a shot off in the air that's more accurate. And arrows tend to come out below, by the way. So, if you jump, you're more likely to hit something that's in the head, if it's like a shorter creature. So, those headshots do extra damage, they deal critical damage, and they often stagger the enemy. So... You need to get in the habit of jump shooting and then shooting again when you hit the ground. Like those are, that's like your bread and butter combo right there. You'll get two arrows off, bang, bang. And you also need to learn how to roll shoot instantly. Again, don't stand there and fire. When you want to fire, roll and shoot or jump and shoot and then shoot when you land. Or you can even sprint and shoot. Coming out of a sprint and shooting is much faster than standing there. And you need to master these things because this is really what's going to make you succeed at playing an archer. If you're using a longbow, you can jump and shoot and, you know, roll and shoot and these things, but you cannot jump and shoot and then shoot instantly when you hit the ground. You just cannot do it. So you want to make sure that you're using a short bow when you can and use the longbow only when you're trying to pick things off at range. When you're prioritizing which bow to upgrade damage on, always prioritize the short bow. Just a couple helpful tips before I end this video about Archer as well. First, you can only carry 99 of each arrow type on you, so you want to have multiple different arrow types so that you don't run out. And you have two different arrow slots, R1 and R2. You're going to, you know, make sure you put whatever ones you want in those. That's pretty straightforward. But try and carry at least 99 of two different arrow types. That's harder to do at the beginning when you're already struggling to get arrows as it is. But as the game goes on, it'll be easier to do. And if you find yourself running out of arrows, make sure you rest at a site of grace. So like, you know, progress part of the game or, or do part of like a legacy dungeon, get to the next site of grace, make sure you rest so that you replenish your arrows because you don't want to run out of arrows. Secondly, don't be afraid to get close to enemies when you're shooting with the bow. The short bow has very short range and it does more damage, you know, when it's in its range limit. So make sure you're staying close if you can. It doesn't have to be too close. But, you know, don't be afraid to dodge through attacks to get behind an enemy and shoot them, particularly if they have a shield, or jump over their shield and shoot them. Um, you know, you can play close to enemies by using the iframes on your rolls. So, you know, Get used to doing that and don't be afraid to be close to enemies, particularly when you're using the short bow. And lastly, as I mentioned, the bow is a stamina hog. Uh, if you can get things that increase your stamina, items that increase your stamina or uh, stamina recovery, for instance, there's a talisman, a turtle talisman you can get rather early on. It's in a village uh, in Stormhill. Go get that. That will help your stamina recover faster, which means you'll be able to jump around more. You kind of play a bow build in this game like Legolos or something like that. You never want to be standing still shooting again unless you're sniping from a distance, which isn't going to be as often as you think. You're going to be jumping, hopping, rolling. It's a lot of fun, but you get way more shots off by doing the things I suggested. That's it for the Archer video. If you have other questions about playing an Archer or other helpful tips, please leave them in the comments below so other players can get helped out as well. I will try and answer everything that I can. I'm flat out right now streaming and making videos as fast as I can for you guys, but I'll do my best.